If you are a procurement manager and want to implement artificial intelligence in your procurement department, then this video is the one to watch. Because I'm going to explain you what it needs to implement AI in procurement processes. So first of all, you should know for which purpose you want to use artificial intelligence in procurement. There are lots of different purposes you could use AI tools for. So for example, one, supplier selection and evaluation. Two, sourcing optimization and spend analysis. Three, the preparation of negotiations. Four, risk management and predictive analysis. Five, the automation of repetitive tasks. So all these emails, all this writing, all the invoicing, everything what you are doing in operational procurement. Six, contract management. So these are six examples where artificial intelligence is the most useful. So for example, I also did questionnaires among procurement managers, which are the most obvious areas where AI can help you in procurement. And those six areas were the ones that were named the most. So now when it comes to choosing an AI tool, you can of course use ChatGPT for all these six areas. But ChatGPT is not the best for everything. So take ChatGPT for example. Of course, everything you need to be done in procurement in the six areas I've told you, you could use ChatGPT for. But there's also Gemini, the tool from Google. To my experience, Gemini is better when it comes to current data. So everything which you need from today. To my experience, Gemini is more up to date. So if you need an information about a company which is from today or from last week, Gemini will deliver you better information. And especially also when it comes to predictive analysis based on current information, you will get better information through Gemini. Which doesn't mean that ChatGPT is not able to do so because especially the latest version of ChatGPT is also capable of doing this, but Gemini with the power of Google behind is the better search machine, so it gives you better information up to date. So already here you see there's a ChatGPT, there's a Gemini, which can give you different results as a procurement manager, depending for what use case you want to use an AI tool. So a part of ChatGPT and Gemini, there are of course also specialized tools which are particularly made for one use case. So take for example supplier identification and IFQs. Here the best tool in the market is Tealbook. And when it comes to contracts, here DocuSign Insight is a really great AI tool. So what I want to tell you, first you have to understand the use case. You want to implement AI in your procurement, then you have to choose the right tool and then it comes to the implementation. And now I will tell you how to implement those tools effectively in your procurement department. What you should never do is doing everything at the same time. So I gave you six different areas where you should concentrate on. I would start in each of those six areas in parallel, but only if you have one responsible person for each of those areas. So let's take the repetitive tasks. This should be done from someone from operational procurement. So someone who is doing a lot of emails, checking the invoices coming from suppliers. This one could be the responsible person to start using ChatGPT or even Stamply to facilitate the daily jobs in operational procurement with artificial intelligence. Coming to strategic purchasing and here especially the example of supplier selection and supplier identification. Again, you need a front runner who is starting to implement this for your whole organization. And once the front runner has the first positive results, he will show it to the rest of the organization. They will follow because he is a convincing guy who will show to the organization that the AI tool he has been using for supplier selection is working and he will show the others also to use it. So my important advice, you should never do everything at the same time, but choose the right AI tool for the right use case and then start using it by one or two frontrunners of the organization where everyone listens to. And when these frontrunners have used it and can show the first results, then the whole organization should follow. And again, 
Don't do everything at the same time. Start with a few use cases and when those use cases have been implemented successfully, then do the next use case. And I can promise you, you will find a lot of use cases for artificial intelligence in procurement. So implementing artificial intelligence in procurement is not that much which tool to use, because honestly spoken already with ChatGPT, if you are using all the functions, you would already be a front runner of artificial intelligence of all the procurement companies you can think of in the world. No, the most important are the people in your company. If you don't manage your people to want implement artificial intelligence, it will not work. So that is why I would always start in small slices, choose the right front runners to bring the whole company behind your idea. And then again, it doesn't matter if you take the best AI tool in the world or if you take the mainstream AI tool, which is Gemini or ChatGPT, it really doesn't matter. Bring your people behind your idea and you will be the front runner of artificial intelligence in procurement. And if you want to have more greatness like this, there are a lot of other videos of mine where I give you a few tips, advices and recommendations about procurement, supply chain management and most importantly, artificial intelligence, which according to me will be the game changer for all companies in this world, not only in procurement, also in other areas, but especially in procurement, artificial intelligence will bring you so many advantages and I will tell you about them in my coming videos. So subscribe my channel, switch on the notification bell and you won't miss any of those upcoming videos. So see you very soon in my next video.